After an exhausting journey across England, we finally arrived in Devon to meet up with Derek Gow. Derek runs one of other businesses, the West Country Wildlife Photography Centre. This was recently home to the BBC programme The Burrowers, a series based on three of our iconic burrowing animals, the badger, the waterfall and of course the rabbit. Armed with plenty of questions for Derek, I first had to achieve a little ambition of mine. Where's the magic door? Come on, I'll show you. You may remember the BBC programme The Burrowers. Well, we've made the long trek down here and we're meeting Derek. It's me, yeah. And he is going to show us uh, a little background into not only how The Burrowers was made and, and why it was made, but also to have a little look at the water bowl project. The original idea was to try and design something that was as authentic as it could be to have something that had real panache. So, you know, when you come in, you have this whole colony of rabbits functioning, it just looks wonderful. We were working with some, with different camera for the natural, who'd work with the natural history unit, and what they said is when you go down underground, actually, it isn't that intricate. A lot of the shapes are actually quite, quite dull, quite smooth, because, of course, they're very well worn, they've been used by animals for a very long time. Um, and on the upper layers, what we originally intended to do as well was we, we originally intended to have um, areas where there were um, wood mice and um, also potentially hedgehogs as well. Because, yeah. of course, one of the things that we kind of didn't really carry over as a message in the series, which was a bit of a shame, was the, the fact... Hedgehog. Well, it's the fact that these burrowing animals, like all the other big animals, they make these spaces underground, yeah. and then the spaces underground are used by a whole host of other species. This is the, the made-up set for the burrowers. And everything now we're adapting for photography. So you can come along, there's nothing in front of you, yeah. there are animals in there. And, and you know, we have people in the other day and it works very well. So we only put animals in there for people. To, and for things like cats, you never... And, and what, of course, most people do is they do this, they do it in enclosures where it's not set up for photography properly. Yeah. Here, you know, you've the likes of these things, you put an animal in there, put your camera um, lens through there, you're photographing without any wire between you and it, or you're going in and you're sitting in there beside them. But the whole idea of this is that you come, you can get good photographs of 15, 20 species in a day. We do macro photography, we do everything. It's reputation, it's people coming and saying that this is a good place to come, you know, showing their images to friends, taking them to camera clubs. It's a lovely fox, which for photography work is perfect. Well, we mainly work for the building industry as well, so most of the most of the water bowls that are here are water bowls that come from comp or from mitigation projects. Yep. They're yeah. building a container yeah, port yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they have to move them. So, I mean, we do have projects that we run for the Wildlife Trust, or we've run projects for the GWCT in the yeah. past, where you've had funding from DEFRA, but it's yeah. very hard to find that money now. Beautiful creature, isn't it? Oh, they're very pretty. In a good condition, you can see they've got a big rump of fat over yeah. the back of their back yeah, from yeah. their ears to the middle of their back. Yeah. Well, we've finished the day off looking at the star as the show, the water bowl, and uh, our thanks to Derek here for the, the work he's been doing reintroducing this little creature back into the countryside, and not only the water bowl, but having an establishment, what he has here, and what he's building up in a photography centre. So in years to come, people can come and experience and get take great pictures of the wildlife that what should be widely available, but sadly isn't. But hopefully, with man's uh, management of the green and pleasant land we live in, we may be able to find these in the wild sooner rather than later than having to travel 800 miles round trip to come and see one close up. So I thank you very much, Derek. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. No bother. Nice meeting you.